Today I'm going to show you a quick demo of using Integrated ML with Data Robot. So Integrated ML is a new feature of Inner Systems Iris that allows you to build and use machine learning models using elegant SQL syntax. So let's take a look. We have here a SQL editor, dBeaver, and I'm connected to an Inner Systems Iris instance. Uh, and we're looking at a particular table that we're going to build a machine learning model from this data. And um, it's a healthcare example. So we have a bunch of uh, information about diabetes patients and uh, information about their medications, information about their medical history. And we want to uh, build a machine learning model that can predict whether or not this patient is going to be readmitted. We have some historical data and we want to build a model that will be able to take new data and predict uh, a probability of whether or not this certain uh, patient will get readmitted to the hospital. Readmissions is a phenomenon where a patient gets treated but then comes back a short time later to the hospital uh, with a preventable condition. It's a huge drag on our healthcare system. And while we're trying to do everything we can to uh, optimize and be efficient about our healthcare resources right now, this is uh, particularly important. Okay, so you can see I've got um, uh, about uh, 10,000 rows, exactly 10,000 rows. And the first step to using integrated ML is to um, set up the uh, provider, okay? So a provider is a machine learning framework that's going to do the actual machine learning. And integrated ML is uh, essentially this interface between our SQL engine on the one side and the data platform on that side and some machine learning frameworks that do the actual machine learning. In this case, we're gonna set up our provider for data robot. So how you do that, uh, we'll switch over here to Data Robot. Um, you go up to uh, this upper right and you can click Developer Tools. And there you can copy uh, one of your, you can make and then copy uh, API key. The next step is to take that API key and uh, set up your uh, Data Robot provider within Inner Systems Iris. Um, we use a, uh, there's a way to do this with just SQL um, or just object script, but um, you can do it from the management portal here. So you go into system administration, configuration, and machine learning configurations. And I'm not gonna make this one here, but we can just see what's in, where you, where you would put that API key that we just copied to our clipboard. Put it right there at the bottom. Uh, and you've got some other fields that you can uh, fill out here. Okay, so now that we've uh, set up our uh, machine learning configuration, uh, we'll go back over to dBeaver, and then we can actually activate that. So you use the set ML configuration syntax. Uh, once you do that, then all of the machine learning uh, commands that you issue through your SQL are going to use um, Data Robot. The first step then in actually creating a model is uh, this create model statement, and it takes the name of the model and the column that you are predicting, and then a, a default table, which will tell Integrated ML what are the inputs to this model. It's going to, by default, use all of the other columns other than readmitted. So we run that, it's just a simple DBL statement, it goes really quickly. And then the actual work of training the model is, is done with a train model statement. I'm not going to do that here because it takes about 15 minutes to run, uh, but we can switch over and look and see uh, what did happen on a previous run with Data Robot. So over in Data Robot, we have, um, we can look at the projects and we're going to actually look at a previous project that I've run before 
and we can see all the models that were built with that. Okay, this is the one we'll look at. And now we can look at all the models that were developed. Data Robot has a rich user interface where you can uh, look at all the models that were built for a particular problem. So now we know we, we have a, a model that's actually uh, been built. Of course, several have been built and they've been deployed. Um, it's that easy now to actually use this within your SQL. All you have to do is call predict. And here I've got a very interesting uh, query that we're running. So here you can see uh, a, a query you can use to actually use that model that was built in Data Robot. Uh, here I'm going to call predict, which actually invokes a model, but I'm also going to call this other function probability, which not only, you know, predict gives the Boolean a yes or no, whether this patient is predicted to be readmitted, but probability gives you a little information about the confidence the model has. The other parts of this query that's interesting is that you can put this predict statement anywhere in your query. Right here, we're gonna select for all of the uh, examples where the model did not predict the, the, the correct answer. So all I have to do is run this query and it goes out to Data Robot, invokes that model, puts it all together, and then this is a very simple uh, way that you could potentially use this within your own applications. Oh, it's going to go right there. Okay, so it just uh, pulled back all that data, uh, compare, and now you can compare the predicted to the readmission, readmitted, and see if it was high confidence, low confidence, and kind of dig in and get a, get a feel for how your model's working.